I'll be straight up with you, I was a worm of sand hater. I honestly didn't think it was going to be good, and I still don't think it's amazing. However, if you get the right build, this build is an incredible time. It is so much fun, and it just works super well. Roll indefinitely, and then you just level up and scale, and it's great. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Some awkward handbags. Just all the wrong shape, all the wrong color. Just really not it, you know? I think that was the only setup we had that we could have not won that. So, you know, go us. Okay, two level ups, always good. Dude, what the heck are you running? No shot you're expecting to win there. Start me with a level. Puppy, sure. Grab some oven mitts. High key, I kind of want to run it like this. I can't really articulate exactly why this feels better, but it does. Good snipes. Love it. Love it very much. Okay, drop the puppy, throw in a Bigfoot. Hmm, I think we sell you. Anteater is super strong early. I'm thinking maybe we try to get this Bigfoot cooking. Oh, hello. I actually want to hold on to you. We can get a tier 4 next turn. We may be slightly weaker this round. Well, we will be weaker this round, but I think it's worth it. Oh baby, we're doing it. Didn't even matter. Yeah. Bye you. What do we got? A crow? <laughs> Are we gonna run the worm of sand build? That seems dangerous. I mean maybe we try it though, you know? Like has anyone ever actually tried it? Hopefully not. <laughs> but maybe we should. Alright, ditch the Thunderbird. Let's get our roll game on. We'll go like this. Just in case we get some goofy seahorse nonsense going on. Oh, fantastic ant luck, by the way. Thank you, thank you. We're looking for hamsters. We're looking for more worms of sand. And really any gold producer is also good. Not these guys though, I'd kind of talk, kind of talking like a silver fox, you know? Maybe it's worth it just for now as like a body. Mm, don't care about you. Really love any of these. Weasel maybe? Okay. Yeah, see it's just a super awkward total here of the six rolls. I don't want to like prioritize it over spending money efficiently. But yeah, it's a little funky. I'd have to admit. Dang, Jackalope cooked us out here. Alright. Not who I was hoping for. Dude, imagine if we got Silver Fox there. Hmm, we'd be so golden. All right, let's get you cooking up a little bit. Not doing any of that. Plug isn't even that good either. I think I like waffle. And then roll. High key, what if we just run it like this? The question is, do we want a tier five or a tier six? Tier 6 with this is kind of whatever. Probably tier 5, actually. Yeah, we can get like a hamster. Ooh! Alright, hamster. Excuse the squeaking, what the heck was that? Hamster is very, very good here. Ouch. That is significantly less good. Okay, play the hamster. 
Weasel's not sticking around, let's be honest. Um, Bigfoot isn't either. Ikey. Something like this. Roll me. So right now, Worm of Sand is going to be buffing. I'm assuming it doesn't buff itself. So it would be Hamster and then one of these guys. Which is a big reason why I desperately am looking for a Silver Fox on these level ups. Because these guys aren't very good. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, I guess we're just... Coconut here. Coconut, coconut. Okay. Fortunately, they're not doing a whole lot either. But we're not gonna lose to Jagger DK. Wonder if we get rid of the anteater here. You know. I don't think we get rid of anyone until we really have a, a suitable replacement. There we go. Okay. Orca, maybe. And then... I mean, cow is kind of whatever. Throw in an orca just as, like... A thing that exists for a second. Alright, just absorb a little bit of... A little bit of damage there. He's running the same kind of build. Masala Puppy. Alright, sell you. Okay, another Worm of Sand. Maybe we double stack? Maybe that's the strat. Double stack your Worm of Sands. Get rid of Anteater. <laughs> Is this the play? Surely not. We did find our Silver Fox we were looking for. And then we combine. Oh, we're so close. We had seven gold we could combine and do a bunch of stuff. That's not gonna work. All right, so we'll do it like this. That's all right, okay. We'll go here. We'll roll. Maybe hold on to you. Love it. I don't like that it hit both hamsters both times. I'd rather Silver Fox get something, but whatever. All right, so we're expecting to lose this one just for the record. We're all on the same page here. Yeah, especially with the bear. Dude, it's over. <laughs> you got the summons build cooking. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Play you. We're gonna roll. Roll again. Just use up our hamster stuff. We go here. And now we're gonna go absolutely insane. So start me here. You're gonna work four times per turn. Three. And then four. How does this work with overlaying them? I'm curious. If we go here. Oh, dude, it totally refreshes. That's insane. Level you. I mean, maybe we don't care about you guys even. Maybe we do. <laughs> I don't know. We'll keep one. Two, because we really want to find more hamsters. That's the key. Dude, this is opening up a whole new zone right now. Yeah, okay, okay. I know what we're doing. So we roll. We buy, sell. Freeze the chocolate. And then roll the last time. Oh baby. Is this even good? I can't tell. I'm not convinced that it is, but it's fun. And maybe that's what matters.
<laughs> Doesn't feel very good. We need more Worm of Sands. I think that's our issue. I don't think we focus on the Silver Fox yet. We're looking for hamsters. We're looking for Worm of Sand. We definitely do this. That's free money. And then we keep rolling. Any hamsters out there? I'd love a hamster right now. <laughs> Nothing. What are you at? Five out of six? Perfect. Level you. Roll. There's our hamster friend. Oh dude, I really hope we win this round. We're gonna go insane next round. Ormo Sand is feeling kinda good right now. Don't hit here. Thank you. Oh, baby, we were so close. Oh, I hate it. I wonder if we switched him around a little or something. We could have had it, but we got to run it back. That, that's the play. That is how you do it. Dude, this start sucks. <laughs> we'll go double chinchilla. Get ready. Brace yourself for the losses. We'll be Lord of the Phantoms because we're about to be dead. <laughs> we could have drawn if we positioned differently. I can't imagine that's like the best way to position, right? Okay. We're redeeming ourselves a little bit here. I think this is fine. Um, if you were to lead with a 3-2 or a 2-3, which one would you do? I feel like I would do a 3-2, so I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Um, the point is null, but we're good. We didn't lose two in a row, so that's, that's all I'm looking for right now. Okay, I love a Beluga Sturgeon. I don't think we sell for it, but I'll definitely freeze it. Get us ready for later. Okay, good, good. I forgot to reorganize our team. Four, four, fine. Rimp. We can pivot into a makeshift buy sell for a second here. Now it'd be better to keep the higher stat guy, but I'm gonna greed for some levels potentially. Don't care. Swan is tempting, but I'm gonna say no. I wanna prepare these guys. I wanna get some levels here. There we are. Getting somebody going here. Um, Dear Lord, probably not. There are a select few builds that I still have yet to run that I w I've been waiting for. So I'm gonna, I'm prioritizing those kind of in the background, if you will. Okay, so now we sell you. Throw in a shrimp. Let's get the beluga sturgeon cooking a little bit. Um, Bigfoot seems fine. Could be worse, you know. There he is. Love to see it. Um, let's run a clownfish. Starfish, I just, I sleep. I don't care about him. Straight up. Give me another, another lasagna coming in the oven. I think we're good. We draw. Dude, why do people run their weasels in the back? That doesn't make any sense. You're saying you only want the gold if you draw or lose? Like what? <laughs> that seems silly. Believe in yourself a little, you know? Roll me. I'm really just looking for some duplicates right now. None of these are very interesting to me. There we go. We found one. 
Are you really stacking clownfish? Is that... <laughs> Maybe, I mean... These guys can all go as far as I'm concerned. As soon as we sold the second shrimp, I gave up on it. Beautiful. Okay. Start me here. If you want to give me more Bigfoots, I'll take them. Worm of Sand is huge. Let's swap you out. Bigfoot Worm of Sand combo is insane. Um... Ariel's tempting, but let's let's ignore it for now. Let's just give you some grapes, you know. Invest in our future a little bit. Okay. No, dude, come on. With the B, really? We gotta be better than that. Do we go for the stats or do we go for the dragon? Probably the stats. We start here. Um, I'm not gonna go too hard on the Worm of Sand yet. Primarily because it's a level one. What if we just stack all of our rerolls and then one turn we just do like 500 rerolls all at once? <laughs> Would that ever be good if you just get a whole boatload of Bigfoot? Level me. Come on, good tier 6. Ooh, lasagna's at a time, dude. <laughs> That's insane. For the record, Snake is definitely better. But this seems too fun to say no to. Okay. Um, let's just do this. You know, I want to stack these free rerolls. I don't want to get, go crazy here. Rude. Give me that double lasagna. Oh, look at these alpacas. Hold on. Hold on just a second. Quick pivot into a... Into a little... Um, leveling up incubator here. So let's find some Worm of Sands. Let's find some... Honestly, I'd, I, if we find a Clownfish, I'll sell Worm of Sand. Back the Clownfish real quick. We gotta find something good here. Hamster. That's kind of good. Honestly, okay, ditch you. I'd rather get the extra stats from the Clownfish. Because we ain't even using the Worm of Sand yet. He's on the, the back burner until further notice. There he is. Do this. Roll me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Give me something. We, we're getting nothing out here. We're really getting nothing, aren't we? This is crazy. Okay, do that. I think we sell the clownfish next turn, get the worm of sand, and then we start going insane. This is gonna be absolutely incredible. Or like, completely terrible. That's also possible. Okay, worm of sand me. So now we, the alpaca synergy has kind of dropped a little bit. I think we're gonna have to find a new method of getting gold. And or value. Okay, so we don't want to level the hamster. Remember, we can, we can do the refresh abuse. Um, sure. We can start doing something like this. We could have stacked alpaca, but who cares? Who cares? There he is. I think I'll level you. 
and then dude I really hold on if we roll two more times at six six on the hamster and alpaca <laughs> hold on that's a little awkward um okay so in that case we actually don't do it and I'd rather get the puma on our on our oven mitts yeah yeah that's the way to do it because realistically, the alpaca's leaving soon. We don't want to keep him around, you know? That would be silly. Sir, I believe your, your snake is in the wrong location. You're lucky my team is transitioning, otherwise you'd be in big trouble. Okay, so the Worm of Sand is going to buff Hamster and it's going to buff... Whoever else we put in here. Probably another hamster, if I had to guess. Um, so let's let's just get this Bigfoot cooking. Now we're looking for Worm of Sands. We're looking for hamsters. Ideally Worm of Sand first, but I'm not picky. Come on. Could also run a bear. No. Because we don't want to buff the bear. We want to buff the the guys that would attack, that are not the bear. Okay, so now, I think we ditched the puma. We don't want to buff, buff the puma for obvious reasons. And I think we're just looking around trying to find find our homies. We could Gariel. I'd rather wait on that though. Chocolate, sure. Okay, we found Worm of Sand. That's good. So let's use the alpaca buff. We can buy, sell the oyster. Hold on, what are we at? Six. We can trigger you twice. You're only going to trigger once. Okay, that's fine. Then I'll do this. Now they're going to be buffing each other, which is kind of weird. Um, I think that's fine, though. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh, hello. We want to roll six times. What if we just keep our oyster around, just just for, for fun? Does Yeti work with Worm of Sand? Question. As if it does. That could also go kind of hard. Get a big Yeti going. We wouldn't even have to do anything, really. If you think about it. Like, <laughs> you get a level 3 Yeti, and you just spam roll in, until it goes away. And then you end the turn, and then he gets big. <laughs> that could be kind of good. Okay, so you two are stacked together. We need to roll five times. We won't be able to do the crow thing. Well, maybe. We have two free rerolls, so we only need to roll three times. And we're going to get two extra gold from that. We're at nine. We actually can do the crow. This is getting funky. Okay, roll me. Give me a yeti. Any yetis out there? There he is. That's my boy. Um, but we can't play him yet. Can we? If we play him, we'll be at one. And this only has one trigger left. So we can reroll once. Oh, but if it does work, then that counts for it. Oh, dude, this is... Do we risk it? Six, six on the line here? Let's do it. If these guys go off, then the Yeti works. Oh baby, that's huge! You know what this means? Bro's running a sea serpent without any mana. This guy's insane. <laughs> okay, we're actually going insane now. Alright. Here. Get this yeti cooking. ASAP. I can't believe we didn't find any hamsters to refresh, by the way. That's kind of insane. Hold on to you. 
Dude, the math is so difficult. Okay, well, if we refresh you, if we spend six gold to get you to level three, you're going to refresh and get six gold back. So that's like totally worth it. And you're literally just a free reroll on <laughs> both of these abilities. Hold on. Here, here. Here. Four left. Oh, that's perfect. We're gonna get triggers on you from the hamster and whatever gold we have, and then the Yeti goes again. Oh, baby. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. And now we go two. I'll be honest, I wasn't actually looking at the shop that whole time. I was just watching this this number count up. So if I missed anything, I apologize. Now question. Is it actually worthwhile at this point in time to get Yeti to level 3? Part of me feels like it's not. Okay. Dude, we're so, we're so in it. Hold on, we're so in it. Yeah, because we don't want to spend 9 gold for 3 rerolls at the end of the round. That's, that's ridiculous. We want to spend all of our money on rerolls. <laughs> Um, and then maybe some items, I guess. If we can find some food that would bode well in our team. What do we got? Nothing. Not much. I don't even know what food I'm looking for. I'm just assuming I'll, I'll know when I see it. Coming. Okay, well we actually can't afford to to do that. Hold on. Do worm of sand triggers go away? Like do they all just keep going on this hamster even though he's 50-50? Because that would kinda suck. I wasn't paying enough attention. I don't know if it went on just because he wasn't fully 50-50 and they triggered at the same time. find out. I'll hold on to a bear just in case. Oh, I hate that. That that ruined this whole build for me. <laughs> that made me dislike this entire build all, all in one go. What the heck? That's so frustrating. I think we're still fine. I mean, our team our team is really strong, but that is so upsetting. I guess because it's not random. Normally, it's built into the logic if they're already maxed, it, it doesn't try to buff them. But since it's like, you know, these are still your highest two pets, you know? I don't like that at all. That makes me sad. Very cool team, though. Uh, that, that little stipulation aside, I love it. That was a lot of fun. I feel like that just went so perfectly, and it was so much fun.